Greetings Car Fanatics. I wanted to make a video to talk about aftermarket warranties. Many of you have asked me if I have aftermarket warranties on my Porsches and I have aftermarket warranties on both uh, the Cayenne and the 997. Now let's move on to the types of aftermarket warranties. So aftermarket warranties are a contract between you and a company so you definitely need to read the fine print. There are two types of aftermarket warranties. The first is an exclusionary policy. This means the uh, company gives a list of parts that aren't covered and everything else um, that isn't mentioned is covered. Um, so this is usually going to be the most comprehensive warranty policy. The next warranty policy is an inclusionary policy. This is just the opposite. The company provides a list of parts that are covered and everything that's not listed will not be covered. So with either type of warranty, you want to make sure that the most likely failures on your car will be covered. So take a look at the fine print to, to make sure those parts uh, and labor will be covered. The other thing to consider when cross shopping aftermarket warranties is the price. So you have your upfront pricing that you'll pay for X miles of coverage and X years of coverage. On top of that, you need to pay attention to the deductible. The deductible is something you'll pay every single time. So if a one policy has a deductible of 100 bucks um, and another policy has a deductible of 200 bucks and the price difference between the policies is you know a thousand dollars or so, you can figure out the break even between the two policies based on the deductibles. Now moving on to other fine print in the contract you should take a look at. One is the labor rates. So you need to be careful with some aftermarket warranties because they will state a hourly labor rate that's capped at a certain amount. For example, one warranty company I looked at had a cap of about $90 per hour. Uh, for my Porsche, usually the labor rates are well over 90 bucks an hour, anywhere between $120 to $180 per hour. So I would still be paying a good amount out of pocket um, even if something on the car were to be covered. Um, so really pay attention to that. Um, better policies will actually go by the national labor rate hours for your type of vehicle. And the final question I'm going to tackle here is whether you should get an aftermarket warranty for your car. So I think it really depends. If you drive something like a Honda um, or another Japanese car that's really reliable and doesn't have a ton of issues, you'll probably be okay just uh, taking the money you would have spent on an aftermarket warranty, putting it aside for any repair bills you'll have in the future. Um, on the other end, um, if you have a high-end vehicle like a Porsche or another German luxury car that typically has issues over time, an aftermarket warranty could be a good choice. So for me, when I purchased the aftermarket warranty for the 997, it was mainly to protect me from catastrophic engine or transmission failures, things that would be, you know, 10 to 30 grand to repair. Um, I'm not so worried about day-to-day -day, uh, repairs because the 997 is a very reliable car. On the other hand, with the Porsche Cayenne, this car has a lot of issues that will pop up, such as the carton shaft, the ignition coils, other things like that. So for me, for the Porsche Cayenne, it was more so about getting an aftermarket warranty to cover me for the uh, typical repairs of ownership. And on top of that, I have the engine, the drivetrain, all of that covered. In case there is some kind of issue, I won't be you know, stuck with a big twenty to $30,000 bill. So talking a little bit about the coverage policies I have on my car. For the 997, I went with Warren Tech, their uh, custom edge policy. This is a um, exclusionary policy that covers pretty much everything on the car. Um, so it was a 25,000 mile um, warranty for four years and I paid $3,500 for that. For the Porsche Cayenne, I went with car checks and I have the silver protection plan. This is not an exclusionary policy, but the list of parts covered is pretty comprehensive. It covers all the major failures, um, control arms, drive shaft, even the air suspension. So this policy I purchased for $3,400 with the $200 deductible and it covers me for 36,000 miles or three years. Um, so overall, that's my general thoughts on aftermarket warranties. I think uh, you definitely need to research the company, read the BBB reviews and also reviews on forums to see how other car owners um, have had experiences with that company. 
So there you have it, Car Fanatics. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions or comments below.